So just for a start of the vid, I'm actually going to be giving away three $50 donated bonds to three random comments. And all you have to do to enter is just like the video, be subscribed to our channel with notifications on, and finally call your game name on OSPK. And make sure you've registered an account on the forums. Since the game isn't out yet, so you will have to comment your forum name, and that's pretty much all you have to do to enter. So good luck on that giveaway. Right, we're currently loading the client for OSPK. It says hello. <laughs> Welcome to OSPK. Oh my god, this client is so clean. Please wait as we set up your files. This feels like I'm on like iOS or something. The client looks so cool, even as it's downloading the cache files. OSPK was successfully installed. Damn, I'm excited. Your adventure now awaits. <laughs> All right, first off, this client background looks absolutely amazing. That particle effect in the background and like the logo itself, that actually looks so good. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited. The server is releasing tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time which is 7 p.m. in the UK, and every new player that makes a thread in the red carpet section on the forums gets a free mystery box, so those get some really cool rewards, so definitely make sure to do that. All right, so we're currently on the beta version. So yeah, I think they're probably gonna set all this up before the release. Apparently there's a normal and a pure mode. Says so the pure mode's coming soon. So normal mode is basically you just play as a normal player and you have no restrictions, and you get all this cool stuff as well. All the interfaces look pretty good. There even seems to be a trivia bot, which I'm guessing gives some cool rewards if you answer, so that's pretty cool to see. One of the main things is the client is really customizable, so you can literally toggle like whatever effects you want like if you want ground decorations on if you want moving textures widgets kill feed a shift drop and like you can even toggle the winter effect and it says reload your client for full effect <laughs> and this is going on if you want to get smacked in a pure 1v1 i'm always game damn and yeah there's customizable f keys obviously there's also pk bots in the server apparently which is cool they also have fully working resizable and full screen modes and there's a bunch of other options as well so it seems you can switch between like the old school hp bar and the original one and you can even like toggle like to see your ping and stuff <laughs> and your fps as well so you're yeah, already I really like this server. First up, what I want to show off is they have a really cool, unique home interface. So it seems like there's four sections to it. So I'm pretty sure the bottom right one is the pure zone. So you can't enter this zone unless you have one defense and your prayer level's 52 or lower. So this zone is pretty much for just max combat. Now the top left one is for high risk and even has a H symbol. So this one's really cool. So you can only enter this area if you risk at least 50 mil, which is actually pretty unique. That'll definitely be cool for like risk fights and there won't be like people PJing you and stuff because they will have to risk like 50 mil. And finally, the top right is a Zerka zone. So you must have no higher than 45 defense and 70 prior to enter and they even added like climbing ropes so if you don't have a requirement for each of the zones you can just climb up these and then spectate the fight so that's gonna be added with the release and the combat is entity based combat so we'll be fighting some other people but basically it's like the best way to write a combat system from a development standpoint and the combat system is pretty much flawless and is really smooth and they even have bot this one's called kill me so another really cool unique thing is they have a clan management system so it's extremely unique and yeah there's a really cool interface for it so yeah basically how this works is as your clan base essentially levels up so they can do this by talking to the clan master you can assign like wilderness pvm tasks or to kill like players your clan basically gets experience and clan points and what this does is actually like levels up your clan so if you become like a really big clan then you're gonna get a lot of experience because loads of your members are gonna be doing these tasks it'll end up with a shit ton of xp and points yeah you can open these clan showcase boxes once you hit certain experience and points levels and basically upgrade your showcase so currently i just got a bronze boss i can change it to that but yeah currently i will only get bronze items so there's nothing else I can get because I haven't done any tasks. Once I level up my clan and open that box, say I do a few tasks, I'd be able to get some iron pieces. So yeah, I know that sounds a bit confusing but there will be a post on the forums explaining it all. It is a really cool system and clans with like rare pieces to showcase, you can tell that they're a really good clan so I'm expecting a lot of clans to come on this server. So yeah, they have a bunch of other cool stuff you can do with your clan so you can set a name, a tag, a slogan, a pass and even your thread URL on forums. You can also set the type of clan you are so it can be a main, hybrid, pure or a mixed clan and you can set the type of people who can enter or talk in the clan chat as well as the people can manage the clan chat and the color of it as well and yeah you can even view like band members i think this is by far the most advanced clan system i've seen on any private server out there so i'm really excited and yeah you can view like the clan information of like all the clans so you can see like when it was established so i'm guessing mine's gonna be one of the first ones but yeah you can view the amount of experience and points and like achievements tasks completed average total of all the members you can see the clan slogan and the list of all the clan members in that particular clan so yeah this is such an advanced clan system i've never seen anything like this on any other private service yeah this is actually really exciting to see that someone can code something like this on a private server so yeah they also have a pretty cool donator zone and they have a bunch of really cool items in here like laws twisted bow and different types of cool boxes and of course the rest are like party hats sleds black party hats that's probably gonna be like the rarest item in game and yeah the donator zone looks really cool as well there's a bunch of scaling stuff to do here there's flax right next to the spinning wheel there's even an altar i'm pretty sure you can change your spellbook here as well and there's a crystal chest but yeah 
yeah, the bank interface also looks really cool. So it is custom made. You can search for any item in here really easily. Let's see, we just want to find a whip or something. It interacts instantly. So you don't even need to press like enter or anything. And yeah, this is just the beta. So we've just been spawned with like the best gear pretty much. So I'm going to be fighting out and testing the combat in a bit. So yeah, they have a bunch of cool posts in the forums. Here's a thread where they're talking about the home area. So you can see all the details of all the combat areas. And it does look very cool, especially in the mini map. And yeah, one of the coolest things they're doing is they're having a $5,000 race to a thousand kills. Yeah, you can read all about that in this post, which I will leave in the description below. You can read the rules here. Essentially, the first five players to reach 1,000 kills legitimately will be qualified to win their rewards. So as well as this, the first three clans to reach 5,000 collective kills will be qualified to win rewards as well. So you can read about all the rules here. So the first clan to get 5,000 kills gets a personalized, custom-built clan headquarters that only clan members can access. That is going to be insane. And the clan leader gets a full Justicia set, which is worth a shit ton in-game. And every clan member gets 100 PKP and 1,000 blood money, along with $50 of donated credits. That is a huge amount of prizes. And there's even more to the second and third. And for player rewards, the first player to reach 1,000 kills gets 100 mil old school GP or $100 on PayPal. Like, that is an insane prize. And yeah, loads of in-game rewards too. $500 of donated credits. Yeah, this is definitely something you do not want to miss out on. There's like prizes for up to five players. Threads pretty much explains everything. So definitely check that out. I will link it in the description. Definitely do not want to miss out. And finally, there's also pre-release donation information. So this is for people who want to support OSBK before their official public release. And yeah, they offer special one-time offers and will not be available after April the 7th. That's literally in a few days. So I'm pretty sure this service is going to be huge. Pretty sure these deals are going to be insane because currently not many people know about it. I can already tell that this server is going to blow up. And yeah, it seems like there's exclusive bonuses for reaching certain donator ranks, such as like for being a diamond donator. You get free mystery boxes, Fury, ACB, AGS, and Dragon Claws. And there's also currently a 20% storewide sale on all items so they even have fully working presets so let's say you just want to go to slot one just type direct hit enter on it click upload and your preset will be activated so that is really awesome so it even says like the spell book and you can even set your stats by using the preset so yeah as you can see i'm currently not wearing anything you can just click activate and it loads it pretty much instantly so that is awesome all right so a direct fighting mr eclipse who is one of the developers so yeah let's see how this goes we are currently in the main zone as you can see by the end and we are both max combat oh he's 57 hd i could ags that one tick Oh, I only hit a nine. That's unlucky. Oh my god, they almost whip carried him. What? Three HP? No. This guy's getting so lucky. He's like not saving at all. Oh, he's got claws. All right, we'll risk it. Axe? No, it hit zero. Oh my god, I could have died there. How am I alive? Oh my god. He's got an AGS too. What the hell? All right, come on, Vengeance. That was such a delay. Oh, the 59 KO. GG. Wait, what? He's a. <gasps> Not today, old friend. I thought he died. What the hell? He's alive? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. I think he thought he died as well. Oh my god. Yeah, the combat system is really smooth on here, which is awesome. Oh my god. This guy is, should be dead so many times over, man. I'm still vengeance as well. They even have a vengeance timer, which is pretty cool. Hit my vengeance. Oh, what? He's still alive. Oh, there we go. GG, dude. <laughs> Finally, about time. So yeah, we got points and blood money for that kill, which is pretty cool. And yes, yeah, a beta version, otherwise we would have got this loot. All right, so we're going to be trying out a bit of PLP gang. So they got the rune knives with the ACB switch along with the AGS and the fire cape combo. So this should be pretty interesting. All right, well, I'm on accurate. All right, we should be destroying him now. Oh, shit, he's going with the AGS already. <laughs> he's smiting us. <gasps> oh, my God. The AGS is OP. Wait, I wasn't even potted. Oh, my God. He's got claws too. I literally haven't been part of this entire time. Oh, we killed him. Oh my god. <laughs> GG. All right, we're going to be doing a rematch since that ended like really quickly. So, oh, there he is. Good luck, sir. Okay, knives are OP. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's getting absolutely destroyed. All right, I'm going to go in for the AGS. Okay, that was so scuffed. Oh my god. <laughs> He's actually getting worked by then. <gasps> He's going in for the claws. Oh. What? How is he alive? Oh, but he hit a 7 when he was 14 HP. <laughs> How is he alive? What? Dude, die, please. Oh, my God. Dude, this guy is actually still alive right now. I'm sorry, but how? Oh, there we go. We smited him as well. 
<laughs> GG, bro. So yeah, they also have a pretty cool teleport interface. You can customize your favorite teleports and add them here. Let's say you wanted the dual to be one of your favorite teleports, just click that. And it'll be added to your favorites and you can just teleport there, which is really awesome, I think. And yeah, they have a bunch of mini games on here, including the standard ones like Warriors Guild, Pest Control. They also have some skilling, including the Wilderness Resource Area. They have lots of monsters to kill and loads of PK spots, obviously. And they actually have quite a few bosses, including most of the old school bosses like Callisto, Scorpio, Vetion. And it even says like a bit of information about each boss as well, which I think is pretty cool. For the seed teleports, each of them are actually hot zones. So they're basically PvP. So for example, Falador is a pure only city where you need one defense and at most 50 prayer to be able to enter it. So I think we should be able to teleport there because we're a pure right now. Essentially, so in Falador, there are two blood money rocks in these areas, which can be mined for blood money. So I'm not exactly sure where they are, but they will be added. And each city has an incentive basically. And the clan with the most kills in each hot zone basically gets placed on a banner in the area and own the territories. You're also rewarded with three PKP and 40 blood money per kill in these zones. So yeah, these should be packed with like people PKing. As you can see, it is a PVP zone. So yeah, one last thing, the owners are looking for a few beta testers just to iron out any bugs before the official release. If you do want a beta tester server, then feel free to head over to the forums, make an account and basically message one of the owners and they'll probably let you beta test the server. And you may even get a beta tester rank, which is pretty cool. So yeah, definitely feel free to do that. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited for this server's release. So don't forget to enter that giveaway for the donated bonds since I'm sure they're gonna be worth a lot in game. And I'm expecting a shit ton of players on release since there's so much unique content on this server. So it should be really good. And yeah, the links to everything will be in the description below, including the game. So check that out. And it is also a referral link. So clicking that link would really help me out. So make sure you do that. And yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. And I hope to see you online on the release. <laughs> I definitely will be myself. And yeah, thanks for watching.